Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We are playing a little bit more unconventional today in the Vintage Cube. Uh, we have a stip from Hindlebrad. It's called Red White, Low to the Ground. So we're, we're drafting like a red white aggro deck, basically. And a Mox Ruby is a pretty good start for that. So we're just going to put this in the sideboard. And uh, we'll see if we can, you know, win some games with some, some aggressive decks. On the bright side, um, I feel like our cards will not be heavily contested, like this figure of Destiny or this Goblin Guide or Tithe Taker. I think figure will come back and we can take the Goblin Guide. That seems good. So I'm going to take Goblin Guide. Unfortunately, we can't take three cards from this pack. Dire Fleet, Hero of Bladehold, is that low enough to the ground? I mean, this card is just bonkers. I think this should be our top end, and we should just take Hero of Bladehold here. Interesting enough, this would actually probably table. Jitte was actually probably fine. Jitte might come back, too. People undervalue Jitte, too, but people don't like creatures in the cube deck. Also, like channel getting passed I mean like if you open a channel I feel like you just take it right we could cut ties with all the lies that you've been living in Jackal Pop. I think it's probably just Fire Blast. Steed of Warfare I actually don't like at all. I think the mana investment is way too high. Whereas Fire Blast is an insane uh, way to win. Oh, I can draft Mono Red. Well, that doesn't seem as fun as White Red. Fire Blast does steal games. You're just like, well, I guess I'll just kill you here. Hell Rider? Oh, boy. Oh boy. Yep. Hellrider and Hero of Bladehold are the two four drops that we need in this world. God, maybe we're just mono red now. Yeah, the level up mechanic is rough because you can't do it at instant speed. Rebel Arc seems actually pretty good here. It doesn't get these back, but I'm sure it'll get back a bunch of things. Uh, it's either that or P and Kieran Alar, which is another 4-drop. I think P and Kieran Alar is actually better than Revel Arc. And Revel Arc, even though there's 10 cards, it might be one of the last two cards in the pack. I'm gonna guess... <sighs> Blast Zone and Marari's Wake, maybe, are the last two in that pack. Porcelain Legionnaires. Oh, let's take Eidolon. Yeah, Eidolon seems really good here. It has flying. That's a good point. I had not considered that. Abbot of Carol Keep. Probably better than Disenchant. All right. It, God, we might just be mono red now. Jeez. I don't think Hellkite's low to the ground, but I also don't like Hollowed Spirit Keeper that much. And it's double white. I'm going to take Hellkite. I think the, uh, the figure of Destiny will likely be coming back right about... Is it now? There's your, there's your boy. All right, we're doing it. We're doing it. I 
Uh, vintage is defined as the same way the format is defined, where any card is legal. Any chance of Death Stranding? Unlikely, no. Mike is working until like 5 a.m. tonight, so... Probably not. Tomorrow, probably, though, yes. Uh, unfortunately, if you attack with Hero Blade Hold and Hellrider... Um, there you go. There you go. Josh figured it out. Josh knows what's up. Jackal Pub. Eh, maybe it's Spear, actually. We'll just take the Spear. I think it's probably better than the one-minute Jackal Pub. Three-minute Spectre. I think for, for pack one, this is actually pretty good. Oh, the Rebel Art came back, to the surprise of no one. Which is nice, because it gets back one, two, three, four, five. Now it gets back six, seven creatures, so that's pretty cool. Um, based on this pack, I'm probably just taking Sacred Foundry. I think you want fixing, because we have double white. We have double white. We have white and green, white and blue, white and red on turn one. Hazaret's cool, but... We already have three four drops, so like... Also, I, I I imagine Hazaret will come back. I think fixing is a little more important. Stoneforge Mystic. Oh, the, the, the Jitte didn't come back. Yeah, we're taking Stoneforge Mystic here for sure. And we're just going to bank on some lands. I mean, Koth is cool and Siege Gang Commander are cool, but they're not... Like, our four drop slot's pretty packed. I want some cheaper things. None of these cards are any good for us. Maybe Gideon? Containment Priest could be decent for the sideboard. Um, I don't foresee us playing Kiki Jiki unless we get, like, Restoration Angel. Maybe Winter Orb? I don't think we're Winter Orbing, though. I don't really feel like Winter Orbing. I feel like there's so many times where I have Winter over my hand and I'm just like, eh, I don't really want to play this here. I think it's probably Gideon. I mean, Gideon makes attackers, which is pretty good with both Hellrider and Hero of Bladehold. It is boring, Gideon. I agree. I begrudgingly agree. <sighs> Ember of Shieldbreaker. Uh... Probably good enough to be main deck. There's an Emrakul and a Through the Breach in the same pack. Man, where am I low to the ground, dudes? I guess Stone Cold Serpent's as low to the ground as you can get, right? <laughs> because you could make it as big as you want. So Bonfire is an option. I'm going to take the Stone Cold Serpent. I think it's just really good at, at scaling. Um, Balance is interesting. I don't know if it's any good here. Yeah, it's low to the ground because it's a snake, but it also has reach. This is like one of the worst swords, and I really don't like it. I think balance is way more powerful. I'll take the sword because you guys like the sword. I'm going to do it for you guys. Oh, I like a blade splicer. I like runaway steamkin here too, actually. Hmm... Dark Bowlers hits actual zero cards in our deck. Uh, Steamkin and Blade Splicer. This is the question. Steamkin is trash? Look how many red spells we have. What? Alright, I'll take the Blade Splicer.
18 plus 4 is 22. So this is a tw this is an eighth pick consecrated sphinx. What? <laughs> you guys don't deserve it. You guys, don't, it's too pure for this world. I'll take a breed. Eh, Koth is fine here. That's unbelievable, dude. Eighth pick. Come on. Kikiji came back. So did Containment Priest. That's interesting. Through the Breach came back. Angel of Sanctions is great, actually. <laughs> they do need to put some respect on it. That's true. That's true. All right, low to the ground, my dudes. Dreadhorde Arcanist, eh, you don't do anything in our deck. Spectral's all right, but like, all these cards are pretty bad. Kitchen Finks is probably better than Spectral here. And there's nothing in this in this pack I even feel bad about passing. Ideally, um, Ideally, someone will pass a Mox Pearl. They didn't. That's okay. I like a Goblin. I like a Goblin Robin Master. Ideally, this pack doesn't wield. That would be. That would be perfect. I actually. All right. We're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, I like a Shrine and a Lightning Helix. Jeez. Also, Sneak Attack, Treachery, and Natural Order. Look at this Murderer's Row of fucking nonsense here, dude. Jeez. Is Shrine better than Lightning Helix? It probably is. I bet Lightning Helix comes back, too. Also, I bet Kithy... Oh, but Council's Judgment, too. Why can't you be a plateau? Flame Slash is alright. Wheel of Fortune is alright. I like Brightling a lot. I think Brightling's actually decent. I don't know if I want to Ravages of War, guys. You guys are going to be like, Ravages of War. And I'm going to be like, I don't know if I like Ravages of War. Giving our opponent seven new cards is pretty rough. Oh my god, look at you friggin' Ravages Maniacs. Lyra. Oh, I like Wear Tear. Magus of the Moon could be decent too, actually. That's hilarious. I'm not sure if there is a deck for I I'm not sure if this is the deck anyway. Um look there's an Armageddon too. Jeez, you guys are <sighs> Is it Magus of the Moon or is it Wear Tear? Do we have any we don't have any kind of wear tear cards in the sideboard. I'm just gonna take Wear Tear. I think Lyra's great. For sure. Nahiri and Chandra and Season Pyromancer and Flickerwist. This pick actually has some decent options. Uh, 
We do have Ember Shieldbreaker in the deck, which is nice. Chandra just deals damage. I think it's probably better than the Season Pyromancer. I don't know if we play it over any of these, though. Maybe we would. I kind of just like Season Pyromancer to put some bodies on the board for Hellrider and Hero. Yeah, I'm going to take the Season Pyromancer, which I feel like is... Boros Signet seems good. Inferno Titan is pretty expensive. I'm gonna, I think I just take the Boros Signet. Like, we have a lot of four drops. God, my kingdom for a plateau. Smuggler's Copter seems great in our deck. It's probably a statistician's dream to mine through MTG's data on how often and which order cards are. I, I agree with you, actually. That's, there's probably a ton of a ton of things to be learned. To be gleaned, if you will. Whatever, I'll take the Arcanist. Eh, Recruiter is mediocre, but fine. Lightning Helix and Council's Judgment came back. Like, I don't even want to play Sword and Stoneforge, to be honest. Those are just not exciting to me at all. Alright, we'll take Helix because you guys are... Oh, the Brightling came back. I like that almost better than Kitchen Finks. I don't like Abbott that much. I think we can... Eh, Ember of Shieldbreaker could be very, very good. Lyra's nice for the board. I think we're still playing... I think we're just playing Rebel Arc. Like, it gets back a lot of creatures in our deck. I don't think we care about Stone Coil Serpent, really. Like, these are the creatures Lyra gets back, or uh, Revelar gets back, rather. Like, 11 creatures. Yeah, I don't actually like Abbott. I think we can cut Abbott, and this will just be our deck. Wow. Wow. I think it's Nahiri. Wow, and Baneslayer comes back? What if we just play like Baneslayer Lyra as our five drops? Jeez. I don't think Nahiri is better than anything else. I think our deck is still pretty good like this. And I think this is just better than these two. Although there are lots of situations where I'd rather have one of these two. Oh, I almost forgot about this Mox. That's pretty cool. 8, 9, 10, 6, 7. Seven, eight, nine, seven, eight. I think 8, 9 is good. I think we actually get one more. No, we don't. What? Forest? Leave me alone, Forest. Alright, we're doing it. I will keep... Do I keep this hand? Jeez. I'm gonna give it a shot. It's not It's not aggressive, guys. It's not fast, but... Embrace Shieldbreaker. Like, I love the option of Embrace Shieldbreaker just being doing a thing. Hmm. 
beep, beep. In before we draw Brightling. Oh, they're gonna path this guy? They're gonna condemn him to a life of anguished unmaking. Oh my god, if they mana like oh, I was like if they mana tie this and I just have this mox ruby in hand, I'm just gonna cry, dude. They're gonna get obviously get a black source with this. Water grave or blood crypt? That'd be weird. I guess water grave's not weird because then they're just Esper. So they take five anyway. Oh, well, that is not a black source to to cast your anguished on making with. Hmm. Unfortunate. I'm just going to cast this guy. <sighs> well, now they have un anguished on making for our shrine, which is just the saddest thing I've ever experienced. command seems good I'm waiting for my opponent to not have it all condemn for goblin guide ultimate price for thunder maw Coligon's command for shrine and, and breath still holding anguished on making we have one two three four five six seven eight eight to eight mana sources to four mana sources seems good <laughs> I'm in danger! Okay. Always so satisfying to play against the blue-white, they always have it. Yeah, it's, I, I don't understand, like, every blue-white deck we play against, and, and they've played, like, the only spells they played are, like, black and black-red cards, so it's like, well... Would you like to unmake this? Do it. Unmake it. Unmake it go away. They did it. It's gone now. I mean, they only have four cards in hand, right? What could possibly go wrong? Are you serious? Oh my god, dude. We have so many good draws, too. Surely you can't be serious. Oh, 
All right. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> Jesus God, they never don't. They have yet to have not have an answer for one of my cards. I don't understand. They're gonna activate Lava Claw and block? I'll take that trade. Oh wow. All right, well, we're getting there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good lord. Shallow grave targeting Shriek Maw. <sighs> Jesus. Is this real, dude? This is, this seems like, I mean, I feel like I'm just literally, just that, I'm just like, my opponent's just like, batting the shit out of me. Cool. All right, good times. Oh, another land, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Oh boy, boy oh boy. Frank Connor Disciple, what's going on? Yeah, I could remove a land, but like... I mean, we have a lot of 4 drops and 5 drops, so it's like, it's not like I... It's not like 16 lands and a mox is too many. It's just, that was just variance. I'm gonna take Shieldbreaker out, because we saw like nothing that would hit a Shieldbreaker. And maybe bring like Koth in. In which case, I want more lands. <sighs> That's unbelievable. Yeah, we could bring in Sword and Stone Coil if, like, we have another match. Um, but Stone Coil doesn't dodge. Would they have Ultimate Voice? Or go for the Throat? I guess it dodges both of those, doesn't it? Because it's not a monocolor creature, and it is an artifact creature. But it doesn't It doesn't dodge, like, Angrath if they target a, an artifact, and it doesn't dodge... Um, Actually, this is actually pretty good. I mean, it won't be. <laughs> but, I mean, like, this dodges Angress Rampage, and, like, then we get to slam a Blade Hold. Which I'm sure they'll have removal for, but that's okay. That's just life, man.
picture. Well, I mean, I'm sure this isn't going to last, but, you know, we tried. Jesus. And three lands in hand again. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, eight lands to three spells. I don't personally understand it, but what can you do? Damn it, it's not what I want. There we go. Um, yeah, we're not going to pump. We're just going to play Revel Arc and keep up bounce mana. I mean, at worst, we can get Ravel Master back if this dies, but. So if they go Wrath of God, we get Ravel Master back, and that's oh, and we can bounce Blight Brightling, so that's not terrible. <sighs> I have no idea if we're ahead or not. This is really hard to tell. Seven mana, huh? Just gonna hard cast Children. Pretty good. Yep, they just had to get the two black right. So hard to deal with for us. Yep. Cool. Hellrider one time. Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Christ. <laughs> Why not? Mountain. <laughs> Thunder my Hellkite would be cool. Interesting. <laughs> that does literal nothing here. Oh good, they're gonna kill it. Yeah, okay. Man, if we drew any of our other one or two mana creatures, we can get two guys back here, but... Well, that ain't gonna do it. They were at four. If we just draw Fire Blast, that'd be sick, right? I guess this gives us one more option to fire blast. 
that's pretty cool. And now we don't get to Fire Blast. Jesus Christ, I'm done. Absolutely done. Fucking unbelievable, dude. Alright, give me one second, I'm gonna use the restroom. Alright, let's try to not draw uh, literally all lands. That would be ideal, I think. Man, I don't think our deck is bad either, I just think we literally drew no threats. So, what are you gonna do? It's just frustrating. I'm just frustrated. Katie, hi. What's going on? I'm sorry we couldn't chat. Um, yeah, all right. We'll try this. Do we have any healthcare experts in the chat? I didn't sign up for um for healthcare when I should have. Like they have a deadline. Shut up and take my money. Um Spidery, sorry about the beating. If it helps, you made my day. Does it help? I appreciate Yeah, did, did I? Cuz I appreciate it if I did. So I didn't sign up for healthcare. Thank you so much, Spidey. I really appreciate the support, buddy. Thank you, thank you, my dude. You are awesome. Um, so I didn't sign up for healthcare when I was supposed to because it said like if you've already, if you just want to keep your existing plan, then uh, then it's fine. You just you just keep it, right? And I was like, okay, cool. My existing plan is very good, so I kept it. But I don't get my. They didn't apply my tax credit. I should get like a tax credit, and my monthly premium should be lower. Jesus. <laughs> oh, so I don't know. Like, and I tried to go, I tried to go, like, do it now. God, American healthcare is such absolute trash. So I tried to go do it now, and it was all like, uh, pick your plan. And I was like, okay, cool, I'll pick a plan. And, but it's like, the, the plans now have premiums like $450 a month. And I'm like, are you insane? <laughs> like, who has this? Who's going to be paying this much for just one person? So now I'm like, I guess I could just call my, uh, the plan I have now, which is like Florida Blue, and I can just be like, hey, I should have a tax credit here, but I don't, so I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't think we can beat a Worm Coil Engine, I'll be honest with you guys. I don't even think the Great Hero of Blade Hold, uh, gets around the old Worm Coil Engine. Although they are taking Mana Vault damage, guys. To draw land. It's unreal. We, again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight lands, three spells. I don't, guys, I don't know. I can't. Yeah, eventually I just closed the site. I was like, all right, I guess we're done here. And it mocks Ruby. Any creature, any creature out of the 18 in our deck, we would have been able to crew this. Which is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's a lot of damage. We have sixteen lands and one mox, so we have a normal amount of lands. Uh, always click battle cry first. Now they're going to kill it. Deceiver Exarch. Sure. Why don't you untap your warm coil and eat my hero of blade hold? Huh. Fascinating. Sure. I 
feel like untapping Worm Coil would have been significantly better than just tapping a... That's weird. If only there were some way to take advantage of our opponent's mistakes. But unfortunately, it's a Worm Coil engine. Lightning bolt. Seems good. I try to say goodbye in a choke. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We got a one. Cool. What the fuck, dude? This is unbelievable. One, two, three, one, two, three spells that are not lands. This, this, and this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How, how, how? How now, brown cow? I can't, like it's unreal. Did just kill this? I, like, what? How now, brown cow? I can't. I don't even understand. Cool. You got me. I I don't I can't. I've I I I Yep. Yep. It's unreal. Let me guess, Gideon? Thunder Maw, that would have been decent. I Jesus, I don't have any words. Like, that's just insane to me. This exile? Yeah, that's good. We need to get rid of that worm coil somehow. What the? Like, that's insane, dude. I'm going to take Revelar out and just bring in, like, Lyra. Actually, Progerdemons and Dragons might even be better. I don't know. What in the earth, dude? <sighs> Alright, this is with 16 mana sources in the deck. Hopefully, like, this is good enough. Mox. Nope, definitely we're just going to keep drawing lands. I try to say goodbye in that joke. Mmm. Nope, that's not going to do it. How much longer are you playing? Who knows, man. Who knows, Sammy? No, I try to hide it. It's clear. I try to walk... I... I Oh, well, now they can Dread Horror Arcanist and I try to walk away and I stumble. No, I try to hide it. It's clear. Now they're going to Lightning Bolt. Uh, Bane Fire for one. Wow, that was, a, that was a thing you did there, my dude.
Do you know any Tracy Chapman? He had a vast car. I got a dick into anywhere. Maybe he's better. Maybe together we can get somewhere. Any place is better. <laughs> I love a good Tracy Chapman. Of course. <laughs> oh, Katie, I miss you, my dear. This guy getting in there? No, he ain't. How about some rush? Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't even handle all the friggin' lands. Let's play this guy. Sure. Next time they're gonna spawn into one and just kill us. They call me the working man. Well, I guess that's what I am. I guess that's what I am. To the double block here? I will snap kill that to see Rex Ark. Oh yeah, give me that thing. Give me that. Give me that dude. Thank you. I'm just gonna keep playing lands here because we uh we can afford a discard one. Rogue Optic Dev, thank you so much for the reset. Oh yeah, Alanis Morris, it is some jam. I had no choice but to hear you. Something rational. I just take parts, bits, and pieces of the song and I just sing them as they come into my head. That's how it usually works. You've already won me over. I have. I still haven't listened to the new tool yet. I want to keep up double white because we can keep up double white and double red if we need to. I couldn't help it. It's all your fault. Screw with this thing. Yeah. Yep, see you later. Yo, 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 I don't know. Yeah, Kevin is at the at the Lilanis Morris karaoke is pretty good. Where is that? At Chili's? Pam feels God in that Chili's tonight. pretty good against me I'm not gonna lie why would you lie about that well he's not he's not he wouldn't yeah that's what he said he's like he said he's not gonna lie so another land it's a solid draw yep another land fantastic what is there four five six seven eight nine we've drawn more than half of our lands in the deck However, Fire Blast could come in handy here. Oh, is it Christmas party in the break room? Okay. Okay. Fact or fiction? Um, I'm going to give you all these. Yep, they took all the lands. Oh, they didn't play a red source. That's fascinating. I, yeah, we can. We, yeah, what's the problem with playing? Uh, yeah, I'll just take two. What's the problem with playing uh, Ravages if, if you're going to draw all your lands in your deck anyway and you can just rebuild way faster than your opponent can? Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. 
<laughs> we'll just cast you. I will take two for my own my own thing. If if or no. So what happens if we alpha here? I'm sure I'm assuming they have a way to get rid of this. They just block here. Yeah, this seems fine actually. Yep. Oh, Bane Slayer Angel. Ooh. It's wonderful. It's my favorite thing ever. If we just attack with this, we win. That's incredible. Wow. Why did we attack with everything? We just should have forced them to have the answer for the copter, I guess. I wish this had first strike. Harvest Eidolon doesn't do anything except for prevents us from being able to play Bane Slayer and <sighs> like they're just gonna gain the life next turn anyway. It's not great. I also have six cards in hand, like... Sure. For some reason, today... It has not been our day for, for drawing. Sure, we're just down here. That's unbelievable. Another land. Oh, too, we haven't won a game yet, guys. We have not won a game. Did I edit the deck for good? No, let's take out planes. Can we go one, two? Can we go one, two, unfortunately? Let's find out if that's a thing. Good lord, how is this real? I'm trying to like figure out like... Oh lord. Warm coil engine. If it wasn't lifelink, like if it was literally any other card in their deck, we get to deal three and then kill them. But it was not. It was not. Well, we do need to land here. Which 
kill the Eidolon. Sure. Now we need to land and we get a Rapple Master. This is just fantastic. I need to take a break after this, guys. Oh, man. I'm actually... This is... No, I'm probably going to get some food after this. I will be back tomorrow, though. At some point. Today has not been ideal for drafts, unfortunately. My opinion on pizza rolls, I think they're pretty subpar normally. Oh, what up, Kerwit? Oh, good, Crater Huff on the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So just block here and maybe block with Lana War Elf to keep their Vivianry alive. Which is fine. If Hunter used a big litter box, that'd be better. Uh, it'd be more inconvenient. I hate changing litter boxes and cleaning litter boxes. Hunter goes out like twice a day. It's really not. Two or three times a day, it's really not. I'd much rather be like if I wish I, I wish the cat could go out. I would just let the cat out three times a day. I can crater craft here and tap out for it. What is that? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen. We go to one. Train the cat to go on the toilet. That is definitely more more effort than I'm willing to expend. Finale for five. Thrag Tusk. Send him on down to cat train. <laughs> Fuck, of course it's Thrag Tusk. Oh, boy. Swaggy Bay. <laughs> oh, Lord. And we're just dead, right? Like, it's not... Who are we kidding? Really? Dennis, I don't feel like I... I don't feel like I've even noticed the, like, the... The reused animations. I like the story so far. I just wish I was more aware of what was going on in the story. Like, what is actually happening here? I think it's just Hero Blade Hold. On the off chance we don't die, it's just the stronger card. I'm working on the 0306. We can do it. I believe in us. Thank you! W Ted, W Ted, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Apologies for the uh, the unfortunate games this evening. 
I mean, I'm sure they're just going to put land on top, play land, tap this, and then attack with all of these in Crater Hoof, and then we'll just let them kill us. What chapter am I on? I think like two, maybe one. Dude, I don't even know. We played for six hours, five hours, closer to five and a half hours. Oh yeah, the room the, the room definitely bothers me because I feel like it's just like I don't know, it's just a weird area. I feel like the game can almost do without that whole private room part. Oh boy. How is the speed around 13 minutes? That's insane. I feel like you can't even get through the cutscenes in 13 minutes. Sammy, are you talking about the Conan O'Brien where uh, he went to Japan mind. to see Hideo Kojima? I like round numbers and I cannot lie. Josh, I love you, buddy. You are awesome. I appreciate you, my dude. All right, we want to hit lands here. We can probably discard Thraben Inspector uh, and Dire Fleet Daredevil here. That gives us a nice amount of guys for Hellrider and will probably let us hit a land. He said optimistically. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Alright, we're doing it. Oh my god, that's hilarious. I can't wait to see Conan O'Brien in the game, dude. Super Fritz, don't be spoiling. I don't know I don't know if I want to watch this because I don't want to I don't I don't want to be spoiled per se land now i wanted a land so i could like lightning helix one of these dudes play and play kitchen finks not for you don't you watch don't you look you little biscuit okay i kind of feel like i have to get rid of both of these which is sad because it compromises my mana base in a good in a good way and not in a good way, but like in a in a serious way, you know? You know what I'm saying? I guess if we do that though. God, I'm just not thrilled about this at all. I mean, the alternative is, like, the scavenging news becomes, like, a 5-5 five, five, and they gain three more life. But, like, I don't know if that's... I don't know what's good. I don't think our deck is great. Jesus, God. Yeah, I usually have surprisingly good luck with aggro decks, but for this cube, for some reason, not so much. I don't know why. <laughs> yep. 
this is impossible to beat. Like, we're just not ever beating this. Not even with good old fashioned Hella Rider. Like, their board is just so much bigger than ours. Like, there's nothing we can do here. This is just an 0306. That's brutal. Hindlebrad, I'm so sorry, buddy. I feel like I, I let you down, but God, we drew a ton of lands and, like, maybe our deck wasn't as good? I don't know. Sometimes I draft the Monterey deck for fun because it does actually just win games that it really shouldn't win, but... How much to get you to stick around for one more? Um... You know what? I don't know. I'm moving soon, so I have to pay for things. So throw whatever you think is fair, and I'll go feed the pets, and I'll, I'll come back, and we'll do another one. Now they got Corsair, and they got a Thrag Tusk on top. Yeah, this is going well. Josh, also to be fair, you by no by by no means are you anyone who who owes me any sort of uh, support because you are one of the most supportive people in my in my chat on a regular basis. So, just to be clear, from the town of Michael Bates. Shut up and take my money. How's this? Assuming Terra's work, this is fight for 15 level pet. Josh, I'm in. All right, I'll do another one. I'll, uh, I'm going to go feed the pets and probably get a snack real quick between rounds, if that's okay with you guys. Thank and then you. we'll come back and do it again. Disco Biscuits, thank you so much for the resub. I really appreciate it. Did we win yet? I can't tell if we won yet. Dismember to get rid of hell. Yeah, to, to get rid of Thunder Maw. Thunder. Da -da Thunder. How are these guys only five fives? I feel like they should be like nine nines by now. I think there's actually nothing in our deck that would even come close to letting us catch up here. Wrath of God would be amazing, but I don't have that. I think either one of those, I think those are both the same donation links, right? Maybe? Yeah, those both lead to the same place, which is pretty sweet. So, all right. Oh, we drew a mountain. Oh, that's actually sick. That's actually gonna, that's actually gonna push us over the edge here too. Concede the game, Hindlebrad, my dude. I'm so sorry. Uh, on the bright side, this is the first 0306 of this cube, and I'm up to like 45 drafts now. So, that's got to count for something, right? Either way. Thank you guys for watching. Hello, Brad. Thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Even if this did not work out as well as we have preferred. I mean, we got... Jeez, we got all kinds of good stuff. Anyway. Either way. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on patreon.com slash frank twitch.tv slash frank Cool stuff, Inc. Every Wednesday for new articles and manatraders.com. Use the link and the promo codes in the description below to get 20% off your first three months of any, of any subscription in the description. Use the, the description, promo code in the description to get the subscription. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.